Hi everyone, we'll be talking about a problem from Code Forces Round 415. Uh, it's a problem related to binary search, and this is in the series of binary search videos so that we really understand this algorithm really, really well. So, you have an array given to you of size n, but you don't know what are the contents of that array, except that it's a Boolean array, so some of the elements are filled with true and some of them are filled with false. So, that's what the array is. You can think of it as a binary array. It's zeros and ones. And so on. Uh, the thing is, you aren't given this array as input, so you don't know what are the contents of that array. What you need to do is find out two elements, at least, which have value of one in them. Okay, maybe these two elements. Maybe, maybe these two elements. Maybe these two elements. Doesn't matter. You need to find two of those elements. And you're given queries. So you can ask two types of queries. The first one is that you can ask for two indexes left and right whether the nearest element to left is closer to it than the nearest element to right. So if this is left and this is right, the nearest element to left which is set is 1, 2, distance 2 away from here, from left. And the nearest element to right is distance 1 away from it. So this is actually closer than then left is from itself the element, so you'll get a binary value of uh, yes or no. Okay, you can imagine them to be anything. You can imagine them to be uh, right or left or zero or one, anything. It's a binary value, and it's telling you that the right element is closer to its set element than the left one, or not. Okay, so using these queries, you need to guess at least two elements in this array. And of course the biggest constraint is that you have only 60 of these queries. Okay, and the length of the array can be 10 raised to the power 5. So that's a pretty big array. Uh, you can't linearly go along you know, the array and find out which, is, which are two elements which are set. So one of the things we can try is to take our left over here at the very leftmost index and take the right over here at the very rightmost index. Now what happens? The rightmost index is closer to its first set bit than the leftmost index is. Okay, so you'll get an answer of no. Leftmost is not close, I mean the left pointer is not as close as the right pointer is to a one bit. So no is the answer. Uh, one of the things you can do is you can come to the center then. And this is your new left. Now is left as close uh, to its set bit as the right element is? Yes. This is distance 1. This is distance 1. So you get an answer yes. But now what? What do you do now? Should you come to the middle over here? Because this much array was already removed? Or should you go here? So the strategy is not very clear. Okay. This is not really helping us constrain the space. This is actually making things ambiguous. Right, so the strategy that we can apply, and it requires some trial and error to be honest, is to go to the center of this range. This entire range initially, you go to the center of it, right here, and one element after it. These two are your left and right. Now what's going to happen is that if left is closer to its set bit than right is, you can say that you can uh, pick this entire range and ignore this entire range. And vice versa. If right is closer to its set bit than left, then you can pick the right range and ignore the whole left range. Okay, what we are trying to do is we are going to find one set bit, right? So we want the person closer to his set bit. That's the logic. and this time it won't be ambiguous because over here what's going to happen is these elements are, are going to be taken into consideration. So let's look at that. You have 0, 0, 0 and 1. Okay. 
Now what you're going to do is you're going to jump in right here. This was your new left. Sorry, this was your new starting index and this is your new ending index. So now this is going to be your left and this is going to be your right. Somewhere in the middle, as middle as middle can get. So is this index closer to its set bit than this index? No. So you'll be breaking up these elements, zero and one. That's a new subarray. Again, you do the same thing, left, right. Is this index closer to its set bit than this index? No. This has distance zero, this has distance one. So you pick up this element at one. And because left now is equal to your right, basically you don't have space to put in another new right at distance one from left. You know that this element is set. And therefore you can answer that at least one of these elements you have found out. Element L is set. Whatever the value of L over here is, that much is known. Now, why does this work? Because when you come to the center, you haven't gotten rid of any elements. What you're doing is at the very center, what you're trying to find is which element over here is closer. If an element is closer, you go in that direction, which means that your if whatever elements were over there are now getting further away from you. Okay? And because they're getting further away, they will never be taken into consideration again if you move in this direction. Once you have moved in this direction, you're never going to be going back beyond this point. Never. That's the property of binary search. Once you have taken only these many points, you're never going to be going beyond this point, which means these points are always going to be further away from you than whichever point dragged you here in the first place, okay, in the very first iteration. And so that's the logic for one iteration. Recursively, it's the same logic. Once you come here, if you're ever going to this point, you will never ever uh, you know, go beyond this point. You'll never come to this uh, range then. If you have gone to the right, then now you're stuck in this range. And so what you're doing is you're reducing your range from initially n to n by 2, to then n by 4, and then n by 8, and so on and so forth. At an exponential rate, you're, re you're reducing the range. So that is log n time, log n iterations. You see that 10 is about 5, log of that will be about, it's less than 20, it's about 18. So in 18 iterations, which is 18 queries basically, you will have found out one element in the array. Okay, but our job is to find two elements. Uh, it's much simpler now because once you've found that one particular element, what you can do is get rid of that element effectively. So let's say you found the element over here, right? Let's just write that down again. 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. And this element has been gotten rid of. What now? There are two subarrays which you need to take into consideration now. This and this. These are the only two subarrays you need to take into consideration. And of course, it's already been given to you that you have at least two bits which are already set in this array. That's the reason why they're asking you to find two distinct points. Okay, so this is a subarray where a, a, a set bit might exist, and this is another subarray where a set bit might exist. You already know that at this index you had a set bit, and therefore you'll never come here. You don't want to come here, but you need to apply a strategy such that you never come here. Okay, so pick this subarray from 0 to 2, 3 is set, from 4 to 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So from 4 to 8 is the other subarray you need to take. But first you come here. Come to its center. 1. That will be your left. And center plus 1 is your right. Try to find out which element has the closest set bit. This one, right. The closest set bit is 1. Although we don't want to take it into consideration, that doesn't matter. 
the query is going to give you an answer of whichever element is set in the array. So what's going to happen is right is going to have its set bit closer than left. All right. So what you're going to end up doing is move towards the right, which is uh, this subarray. You don't want to pick up this element, any elements beyond this. So from two to two is your new range, which is just this element zero. And now you need to do something because you have a single element. You need to query. You need to ask, is this element set? Once the answer is no, you, you'll get an answer of no because it's zero. Then you know that you messed up a bit. In the sense that the set bit could have been in the left subarray or the right subarray. We went to the left subarray and the element which should have been set is not. Meaning that there are no elements set in this subarray. And this is guaranteed because, like we said, whenever you're making these operations, you're actually getting closer to the set bit. The closest that you can to the set bit. And because the closest bit over here is right here, there is uh, no chance that you can uh, get a set bit in this subarray if you asked a query and got an answer of zero, which is no, basically. That, no, this bit is not set. Is A of 2 set? And the answer of that is no. Therefore, you know that this bit is not set. Which means that the set bit is in this subarray from 4 to 8. And what do we do? Same procedure. Go to the center. The center here is this element. And that will be your left. Center plus 1 will be your right. Okay. Interesting part. Is left closer to its uh, set bit than the right? No. No, it isn't. So, what will happen is we'll be searching in this subarray, which is fine. At least we have one bit set here, so our hopes are not yet gone. This subarray has been removed from processing. In fact, this entire subarray is no longer being processed. Okay, we are right here. We are very close to the answer now. One and zero. This is a subarray one and zero. Let's just write that down clearly. Go to the middle, which is right here, which is your new left. Left plus one is right. Is the leftmost index, is your left index uh, closer to its set bit than the right one? Yes. So this element is taken out, and this is the subarray you're playing with now. It's a single element array, therefore you will ask the question, but really, should you? No, you don't need to, because you know that this element, I mean, this subarray had no bit set. You're guaranteed that two bits are set at least. You already found one. And this one should have its bit set. So you don't need to ask whether whether A of, what is it, 7 is set or not. You don't need to ask this question. You know that it is set. So all you need to print is element 7 is set. And before that, you had element 3 is set, actually. Yeah, because you came in the very center and did this by search over there. So that's how you can find two indexes having bits set in this question using binary search. Okay, it might be a little heavy and it might be a little difficult to understand why this works. But if you think about it logically, the, the core of the problem is that whenever you're moving towards the closer bit, the closer set bit, you're not losing any information. Okay, you came at the very center of the array and asked which is which is the direction that I should go to. And you went to the direction which is closer to you, which is you chose a greedy strategy. If you had done something like uh, start from the very edge, edges of the array, left and right here, then you might have had loss of information because once you came on this direction, you never know whether these elements also have a set bit or not. And whether they're close or not from here. That's it for this problem from Code Forces. If you have any doubts or comments, please leave them below. I'll be sharing the link for the code and binary search in the description. Uh, there's one more problem that I want to do on binary search, which is a problem from code in game. It's, I think, Batman has something uh, in relevance to Batman. And it's a very interesting problem. Uh, the reason I want to do that is because 
I really want to hit the point of binary search home. You know, I just want to make sure that whenever we see a problem relating to binary search, we can actually tackle it quickly. So if you want a notification for that, you can subscribe. And uh, until next time, see you.